Our guest has been dedicated to serving South Carolina residents and her commitment to our community continues to shine through a new program. We are excited to welcome back Brittany Hallman, founder and president of Legacy Sanctuary. Brittany, thank you so much for joining us today. It's been a while. Right, it is no problem at all. <laughs> I so, thank y'all for having me. Yeah, of course, <laughs> so tell us about Legacy Sanctuary. This is a rebrand for you, mm -hmm. right? Okay, tell us about it. So Legacy Sanctuary came after I developed I Am Lavish Foundation of course, but during the time of doing I Am Lavish Foundation, I started to find my passion. I started to find what worked, what didn't work. And in the meantime, guys, you know, I started studying what was working for not only the business, but the community. And what I had found was that a lot of families uh, were having challenges with more so creating that substance for the whole family, but also building that self-sufficiency for the whole family. So in the meantime, I started doing the I Am Lavish Foundation, doing the work, they say. And as I was doing the work, I started finding myself enjoying publishing books, helping them start businesses. And I, in the meantime of creating the books, I started finding out that that is not just something you start. That's something that lives when you don't live. You know, royalties with Amazon, bars and those books. So God, I started hearing legacy. This is a legacy thing. So as families started coming and sharing, I need my GED. I need to, I don't read as well. I don't know how to help my daughter with her homework. I don't know how to help my son do this. It started teaching me how to not just only care to the children and the homeless. It started making sure that I make the family whole. And that whole means like holistic, like healing, therapy, talking with them, being in their corner one-on-one -on -one in that moment of weakness or the parent the where they couldn't be transparent mm -hmm. to build that foundation of legacy mm -hmm. so that's where God gave me the vision as I've been resting for the past six months <laughs> I have not been doing much work I've been resting and listening for instructions and as I've been getting um, instructions I remember the word legacy but then I started I heard sanctuary I said that sounds too churchy <laughs> so when I started to look up sanctuary it simply meant a safe place yeah. so I said it goes beyond I guess it's the optics of always thinking that sanctuary only means church but sanctuary is actually a safe place so we're creating that legacy in a safe place for the family to become whole that is so beautiful <laughs> that is so beautiful <laughs> And so you started I Am Lavish Foundation when? It's March 2018. Okay, and so like you were saying before, you started releasing books, and that's actually the last time we had you was yeah. to talk about, was the, was the No Touch Zone it your was. first book? Mm, yes, okay. it was. Remind us about this book. So the No Touch Zone, I birthed that out of a healing process myself. Mm -hmm. I started finding that writing was my method of just simply saying what I verbally couldn't. Mm -hmm. So I started to reflect on some things that was traumatic in my childhood um, and started writing so that not only was it in my childhood but I ended up gaining a best friend in kindergarten who was affected in the same area which is of course it's, it, it says just what it meant don't touch me there so um, but I wanted to make sure that children knew that there was a person that you can go to even if it's in school even if it's in the community that you can go to these safe havens to get that help if you've been affected and being touched in the area that you don't feel comfortable that violates you yeah. so when I found that it was okay to speak out about it I started writing about it mm -hmm. and and I said, I want to help people write about that thing that they had to be quiet about because they felt violated, which makes you feel normally uncomfortable and nasty. It's never too early to inform them of who to talk to. Absolutely. So that's why I birthed the No Touch Zone in my healing process myself. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, and I know that there's so many people that you're helping oh, by yeah. talking about your own healing process. Oh, yes. And so the No Touch Zone, that is a, a part of, you know, under the umbrella of the Legacy Sanctuary, yes, right? Yes. And now you have created a new program. Yeah, absolutely. And tell me about this. <laughs> the new program. <laughs> the new program is certainly called Girl Keep Your Pearls. Mm -hmm. And I want them to understand that their pearls is something that's sacred. Mm -hmm. Something and we often think that the pearl in a girl is like her her image or her 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 personal place of, you know, wait until you're married, but we also are taught that don't cast your pearls to the swine mm -hmm. oftentimes. So I, I started reading how the oyster develops the pearl. But what I started to learn is that in when the oyster is making the pearl, that junk has to get in it. Mm. Like sand and gulp and dirt. It gotta go through Go some in stuff. it, so it goes through a process. Yeah. But in the end, it turns into a beautiful, shining, yeah. little pearl. Mm -hmm. So we don't wanna just give that thing that had to go through all of that. The, yeah. We know that diamonds are, are diamonds are something that has to go through the crushing, but pearls is just as valuable because it has to go through being 
dirt. That means the, the, the being touched, being violated, being talked about. What I've learned is that that's that thing that makes you a pearl. Yeah. And especially in young girls, because we're normally categorized fast or doing things or developing faster than normal. Mm -hmm. But I want them to remember, hold on to that thing that caused you to go through all that frustration. Yeah. That pearl is valuable. So don't give it to the swine prematurely. Don't allow it to be violated. But I'm also grooming them in literacy, lifestyle, yeah. and entrepreneurship. Yeah. So they have to be 12 and older, but they also develop a book mm. out of my program, and they also be mentored for 12 weeks. And I'll be giving them healing methods. I am not a counselor. I am not a therapist, but I do have one on staff. Yeah. Brittany, <laughs> Brittany you, are, you, you just do so many incredible things coming up in addition to your programs, your books. Thank you for all you're doing, and thank no you for problem. joining us today. It is absolutely no problem. I thank y'all for having me today. <laughs> anytime, anytime. <laughs> yes. We're back in two minutes.